All right, Nathan, let's start drawing this Roman soldier. Now, you know I sound a little funny because I went to the dentist earlier. Half my face is numb. So, woohoo! don't mind me. Gonna sound a little funny. Can't stop us from creating art, though. Let's do this. The first thing we're going to do for our Roman soldier is create his head and his helmet. So I don't want you to start in the very middle of your paper. I want you to jump up a little higher. And we're going to save a little bit of room for his head. And we're going to save a little bit of room for a decoration above his helmet. So make sure you save a little bit of room for a decoration too. The first line we're going to make is kind of like a rainbow shape. And we don't want it to be too big. This is the top of his helmet because he'll look like a bobblehead if we make it too big. Now remember, while we're drawing, um, you can push pause at any time and you can um, catch up. The next line we're going to draw is kind of a letter V. And that's where the bottom of the helmet is. Next up, a horizontal line, not in the middle, up a little bit higher, a horizontal line. There's a lot of lines that we're going to be doing, so make sure you're watching carefully. Two vertical lines, or kind of a little bit on a diagonal there, and then a curved line at the top. This next part we're going to draw is going to be two small lines down here, a little bit closer together, a little closer together. They almost look like a neck, but we're still drawing part of the helmet. Next up, let's connect from this opening here down and curve in to make it look like a cheek. Do the same thing on the other side, down and curve in. Great. This is the part that protects his head. And then let's draw a little rectangle here. This is the part that would protect his nose. Right there. Now feel free to get creative here. You can make his face look however you want. I'm going to draw just a simple face. You can't see the nose because it's covered up by this thing that protects it. Next up, let's draw the decoration up here. I'm going to draw from the top straight up a rectangle. Now, I don't know what this part is called, but Roman soldiers had a little decoration up at the top. Let's draw another diagonal line from the side here, diagonal. And then a curved line connecting that diagonal and the rectangle. Maybe, Nathan, maybe you know the name of what these were called, these decorations. Let's draw some lines through them to give it a little bit of texture. And one more line at the bottom here. Remember to pause if you ever need time to catch up. Now we're going in, we did it. We're done with the head, we're done with the helmet. We're going into the body. This part's a little tricky, watch carefully. Let's start by creating two diagonal lines coming out right here. Now, we are going to draw a little like metal piece, a little metal circle underneath the chin. And this is going to hold his cape together. Check it out. Let's draw two diagonal lines that go a little bit past his neck. One, two. That's the beginning of his cape. Let's draw two more on each side that go a little farther. Start at the metal and bring it out 
One more. There we go. And on the other side, one, two. They go a little bit farther. Check this out. We're going to make it look like this cape is um, three-dimensional by starting in the middle line we made and draw a bump that touches his neck. Let's do the same thing on this one. Draw a little bump that touches the other part of the cape. Same thing on the other side. Start at the middle line we made and draw a bump that touches the neck. And then the outer line we made and draw a bump that touches the cape. Holy cats, it looks really cool. It's looking three-dimensional. Let's draw the part of the armor that protects his chest. So I'm going to draw the letter, kind of like the letter U, right here. Great work. Okay, it's going to get more and more tricky. Let's draw his shoulders now. So we're going to draw... No, you know what? I'm going to skip that just for a minute. Let's draw his shield first. His shield is going to go right about here. It's going to be an oval or an ellipse is a good way to put it. And I'm going to draw it so that it's kind of touching his um, armor that protects his chest. So this shield is actually a circle, but it looks like an oval because it's turned on its side. We can make it look even more like it's turned on its side by creating an edge to it like this. Good work. All right. Now let's create some shoulders. I'm going to do that by kind of starting in this armpit area right here. Well, technically it wouldn't be his armpit, but right in that area and I'm gonna bump out, make a little curved line out coming to the shield. I'll do the same thing over here, but I'll stop on my own. There's no shield in the way. Good. Next up, I'm going to draw a line. This is a line that just is like part of his clothing, that where your t-shirt kind of cuts off right there. And then we're going to add some more lines to kind of add a little decoration to the Roman soldier. I did it on both of his shoulders. Okay. This is going to be crazy. We are going to draw his arm and his stomach too. Let's start with his stomach first. Now, let's start by drawing two diagonal lines. And I know what you're thinking. What? He looks super skinny and kind of weird. To which I would say, yes, you are correct. But we're not done yet. That's not his only, <laughs> that's not his stomach. <laughs> well, it is, but it's like the smaller part. Okay. Let's imagine that this, this part of his body kind of comes down and comes to about here, kind of lining up with the shield a little bit. Same thing over here. We're going to draw a line that comes down and kind of curves in a little. This is the whole part of his stomach, and here's his waist. Go ahead and draw that in. Now... Um, let's draw, you can connect a line going across here. Now, Roman soldiers had little pieces of like wrapping, um, around their waist and their torso. So this doesn't have to be even, but draw some horizontal lines kind of, or diagonal to make it look like he's got some wrapping on his, um, stomach and torso. Oh my gosh, he's looking so cool already. Next up, let's draw his bicep. Your bicep is this muscle right here, part of your arm. So start at the shoulder area we ended on and draw an interesting little letter J. Kind of looks like that. He is strong like bull. 
Okay, we're gonna do a lot of little lines here. Coming from his body, I want you to draw a tiny line going out on a diagonal. Like I said, a lot of little lines. Um, from his bicep, I want you to draw one that comes out just a little on a diagonal as well. All right, this is kind of gonna look weird at first, but trust me on it. I want you to do a line that curves in the opposite direction. And then I want you to do a line that curves in towards that line we just made. This is his wrist right here. So I want you to go back out a little bit on one side, go back out a little bit on the other side, and then bring it down and down. We are going to have him look like he's holding a sword. So this is going to look a little funny for now, but we're just going to keep it like that. Make it look like he's holding a sword. We want to give him some decoration on his arms. So you can do a couple horizontal or actually these are a little bit curved to make it look like it's going around his arm. So I did some lines there. All right, we are on our way. We're almost done. This video might have to be broken up into another video. We'll see, okay? Next up, we are going to do his um, kind of like, I guess it's almost like a skirt. Uh, let's bring it down on both sides. You gotta hurry up just a little. And then Roman soldiers have these leather straps that were coming down. So you can draw just a bunch of these straps. You can make them kind of going in different directions a little bit. Remember to pause if I'm going too fast. I'm going a little fast now because the video is, uh, I need to go fast for the video to finish. Let's uh, draw a horizontal line there. For his legs, they're going to look really funny at first. Draw down and out on both sides. Down and out. Now that is funny at first. Looks like he's got stick legs. Let's go on each side and bring it kind of like in on a little curve to make it look like he's got calves. I did a little mess up right there. That's okay. Okay, now we're gonna go a little curve at the tip there. Those are like his toes. And then out on an angle here, kind of like his ankles. And connect on both sides with a curve. I'm gonna, he looks barefoot. I'm gonna make it look like he's got some shoes on his feet by adding two more curves just like I did for the bottom of the feet. And then check out some of this decoration. I'm going to do a couple lines here at the top of the foot and Roman soldiers had these little X marks going down, kind of looked like sandals here. Very quickly, let's finish the sword before my uh, video runs out. Let's go out um, past the hands just a little bit here. Down, down. Remember to pause if you need it. Curve to a point. Now this is going to be a really short sword for me. If you have more space, please use it. I'm going to imagine this coming down. Draw a point over here. This is the point of the sword. Two lines coming straight out, almost to the point, but not quite. And coming to a point. The last thing is the cape. Hurry, hurry. I'm going to just go through this, and you're going to have to pause if you need it. Okay, buddy? I'm sorry, but i got to finish this within a certain amount of time. And I'm about to run out of that time. All right, it looks awesome. Good work, buddy.